This is the world of Gog and Magog. Now then, how will power, when it rests on the foundations which are godless, how will that power relate to the primitive peoples of the world? With Zulkar name, he had the good sense to leave them as they were. See? But no, when Gog and Magog are released, you will see the world experiencing this strange phenomenon that power will now be used to ruthlessly destroy the primitive way of life. Has this already happened in North America? where the American Indians were ruthlessly exterminated like cockroaches by those who then dressed up and went to church on Sunday morning and declared, we are the civilized people. Follow us. That ruthless extermination of the primitive peoples is still going on. Guess who are the majority of people in the Canadian prisons? Yes. The native Indians. They fill the prisons of Canada today. Guess who are the people who weep the most in Australia now? Yes, the indigenous peoples. Yes. I went to Canberra and uh, they showed me this brand sparkling new parliament building. But across the road, I saw a hut built with all kinds of plywood and so on, many different colors, small hut. And there was a big sign, Parliament of the Aborigines. It's still there, you can go and take a look at it. And so the primitive peoples of the world are going to be a targeted and attacked and the primitive way of life will be destroyed, stamped on ruthlessly by a people who have no humanity. No kindness. They know nothing about it. That's what you're dealing with. When Gog and Magog are going to be released. And those primitive people who survived the storm, you will see them. <laughs> They'll be in blue jeans and eating McDonald's hamburgers. <laughs> and drinking whiskey. Drinking whiskey. And drunk. Because the reality that they have to face is too painful for them to cope with. This is what the world is going to be like when Gog and Magog are released. The Quran is warning. When will they be released? How will we know that they are released? And what happens when they are released? Does the Quran tell us anything more? Before we go to the Prophet, let's go to the Quran. To the one more reference in the Quran, only one more. And where is it? In Suratul Ambiya. Suratul Ambiya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, since I mentioned this yes, last night in my lecture, I can do it very quickly now. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about a town. All those who were there yesterday, put up your hand. Good. He speaks about a town which he destroyed, the people were expelled, and then he placed a ban on them, they could never return, until Gog and Magog are released, and they spread out in every direction, procreate, make carbon copies of themselves, make carbon copies of themselves in all directions. So they become the world order, they take control of the world. When that happens, then you will see these people being brought back to their town. Which town is it, we ask? The method we used last night was to go to the Prophet go to all the Ahadiths on Gog and Magog. I think I have a lot of them in this book, Jerusalem in the Quran. Go to that and then you will find, I found 58 Ahadith in nine books of Ahadith. And now go through all of these Ahadiths and see which towns are mentioned linked with Gog and Magog. There is only one. Only one. Satu. Which one is it? Jerusalem. Only Jerusalem. Indicating as plain as daylight that the town is Jerusalem. And so the Quran is saying 
that when you see the Jews being brought back to the Holy Land, the explanation that even the University of Singapore can never give, the explanation is that it is the world order of Gog and Magog which have brought the Jews back to the Holy Land. Hmm? Now this is something of tremendous importance because the Jews are back in the Holy Land now. If this lecture was delivered a hundred years ago, it would not have the impact that it has today because the Jews are back in the Holy Land and the state of Israel has been established while the ulama of Islam were eating halwa. Yeah. Now that we know that Gog and Magog are responsible for bringing the Jews back to the Holy Land, that Gog and Magog are those who control the world, it is now possible for us to go in now and identify Gog and Magog. Don't look so worried now. We go to a hadith first. The hadith is located in Sahih Bukhari eight times. Eight times in Sahih Bukhari. What I have done in this book is I have recorded all eight for you in different, slightly different variations, but all eight I have. When you have eight a hadith here in Sahih Bukhari, you cannot dismiss this because of one hadith in Sahih Muslim that appears to be in conflict with this. These are eight in Sahih Bukhari. What does it say? The Prophet said, that the Prophet was asleep at the home of his wife, Zainab radiallahu He saw something in his sleep. It alarmed him. He woke up. His face was flushed all red. And he said, Wailun lil Arab, woe unto the Arabs. Min sharrin qadik tarama. Because of a great uh, evil which will now come upon them. And then he raised his hands like this, made a hole. He says, Today a hole has been made in the barrier. Which one? The one built by Zulkarnain. And so the release of Yajuj and Majuj will now commence. Because today Allah has made a hole in the barrier. Nobody else can make that hole. Only Allah can do it. Because Zulkarnain says, فَإِذَا جَاءَ وَعْدُ رَبِّي جَعَلَهُ دَكَّهَا when, when that time comes of which my Lord has warned you, Allah is going to bring down this barrier. When did this experience take place? This is in Medina. This is after the change of Qibla. Okay? It is at this time that the barrier is now brought down. And so Gog and Magog are released in the lifetime of Muhammad al -Islam. Are they all released at the same time? No. No. Because first of all, the Quran told us in Surah al kahfi that they will be released as waves. And secondly, there is a hadith in Sahih Muslim which tells us that when Gog and Magog are released, the first of them will pass by the sea of huh? Sea of Galilee and start to drink the water. I said it last night, didn't I? And by the time the last of them pass, they will say, There used to be water here. It takes a long time to drink out a whole lake of water, isn't it? So the, the release of Yajuj and Majuj is going to take a long, 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 long time. They will not all be released at the same time. If they were released in the lifetime of the Prophet now. Now we can try to identify them. Number one, we're looking for a people who when they are released, the first people they will attack 
would be those people who whose language nobody could understand. They will be the first people to become carbon copies of Gog and Magog. Yes. Secondly, when they are released, they are going to exhibit an obsession with the Holy Land because they eventually have to bring the Jews back to the Holy Land. 